So iOS 17 is now only two months away from being released on its first beta and we already have a lot of rumors and reports regarding the new features and changes that this update will bring to iOS. So we have some bad news and some really good news as well. But first of all, let's just take the bad news out of the way. So we have here a report by a Twitter account called Fame Monsters, which is actually very, very accurate when it comes to reporting stuff regarding iOS and Apple in general. So according to this tweet right here, iOS 17 and iPadOS 17 will drop support for the following devices. So iOS 17 won't support the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10. Now, I'm really disappointed with this because the iPhone 10 is actually a really good device. It's still good even in 2023 if you have one of those devices. If you don't have problems with the battery, you know that they work really, really well. But unfortunately, iOS 16 will be the last update that you can install on these three devices. Also, iPadOS 17 is dropping support for the iPad 5th generation and the iPad Pros, the first generation of the iPad Pros, the 9.7 inch and the 12.9 inch won't actually be supported by iOS 17. And now let's move on to the good news. According to Mac Rumors, iOS 17 will feature a new control center. Their source says that there will be a new control center even though it doesn't give details on how it will look or function or whether it will have a lot more customization options but we will have finally a new control center with ios 17 and we actually had the exact same one with some really minor changes since ios 11 and now it's 10 years since the introduction of the control center to ios with ios 7 and it's finally time that apple does something and of course redesigns or changes the way the control center works and looks now this right here is a Cydia tweak and you could see maybe an example of how it could look like and i think having the option to actually invoke the control center from the bottom of your phone will be actually very very useful it's way more convenient invoking from the bottom here than it will be actually from the top just like it is now this would actually look really really nice and of course it would be way better and way easier to invoke now apple might do something like they have done with safari where you can put the address bar at the top or at the bottom based on how you want it if they do this with the control center, it would actually be amazing. Now, if you have watched my videos before, this new control center is actually not new news because we have this report by ihack to you on Twitter. He has reported about this on March 27th that there will be a new control center with iOS 17 and of course, a lot of other features as well. So according to ihack to you, Apple is basically adding new widgets basically maybe new features for the widgets and for the home screen as well which will be really really welcome hopefully apple will finally move on and just change the icons on the home screen we are not expecting like a big change and complete redesign but something that will match the icons that are currently on mac os which basically have more depth to them will make the device probably look way way better and according to i hack to you we will see other features as well just like the one that will allow you to close all the apps at once which will be really amazing very useful that has been required actually for a long long time now by ios users and we are also expected to see other features for the lock screen hopefully the ability to change the function of the two buttons on the lock screen that should be really nice you don't need to have the camera and the flashlight button there all the time you can just add any button that you like that would be amazing and we're expected also to get new multitasking features even though we don't have anything specific of what they will be and of course how they will work but we're expecting to get new multitasking features on ios 17 as well now, all of these reports and rumors that we're getting regarding iOS 17 line up very nicely with the latest report by Mark Grumman, where he talks about iOS 17. Even though initially we didn't think that iOS 17 will be a big deal, we would expect, we were basically expecting to have just like some minor features and most of the focus to be on iOS 17 being more stable and have less bugs. It looks like according to Mark Grumman, there will be a lot of new changes, a lot of new nice to have features. As he says, these are features that the users have been requesting for a long time now from Apple. And it looks like finally Apple has decided to actually take a look at this list of features that iOS users are requesting. And of course, check off as most of them as possible 
hopefully we will get some real exciting stuff because as we all know the features that users want to see are not always the features that apple introduces and of course that's why a lot of like big features that apple introduces sometimes just get forgotten and never used on ios so this year should be very very special hopefully apple will check off and release as much from these features as possible and now let's move on and talk about release dates now ios 17 beta 1 will be released on june 5th that will be a monday of course at around 10 a.m pacific time the event will start probably will be like an hour or so until it ends once the event ends as with every other year we will get the first dev beta of ios 17 even though this year way less people will be able to actually install it on the first day because you will need to actually have a paid dev account in apple to actually be able to download this update to your device the only other way for anyone else without a dev account to install it is to actually wait for the public beta which will most likely come around five to six weeks after the release of the first dev beta that will be probably towards the mid of july and then when you can install ios 17 of course as a public tester and try out all the cool new features and last but not least let's talk about some updates that are coming to ios 16 so according again to this same twitter account called fame monsters we're expected to see ios 16.4.1 which should be released maybe this week maybe today or early next week and it should have the build number of 20e252 this is actually a new build number that has been reported for the new upcoming update iOS 16.4.1 which was, was actually expected to be released very very soon regarding the problems that apple was having with the weather app but it looks like apple has actually fixed those problems that were fixed like that was like a server based problem which actually now has been fixed but there are other problems like with the wi-fi network which is a current problem with ios 16.4 which is actually impacting a lot of users so we can expect again this update to come maybe today or early next week and last but not least we're talking about ios 16.5 which is currently on beta 1 and this week we didn't actually get an update but you can expect to get an update next week probably on tuesday there will be a new update the ios 16.5 beta 2 which is actually not as big as of course ios 16.4 currently we only have three new features and of course we're expecting to see more with new betas but don't expect to see a large number of features with this update even though it's a really really important update now for the public release of this update i would expect it to be released somewhere around the mid of may that's when i expect apple to release ios 16.5 of course before moving on and then releasing the first beta of ios 17 which will be on june 5th so that's basically it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to be updated with the latest ios 16 and of course ios 17 news please make sure to subscribe and if you enjoyed the video hit that like button and i'll see you on the next one